at this time, I'd like to introduce our, our speaker today, Sakuji Tanaka. And, and probably many of you have read the bio, and I'm not going to read a lot of the details. He likes a brief introduction. But um, he served as the chair of the Deka Company in Japan, which was a paper company. And he also was president of the National Household Paper Distribution for, for Japan, a very large company in Japan. He has had increasing roles of responsibility with Rotary uh, throughout the world. And as we all know, he's serving as, as president of Rotary International this year. Pat and I have had an opportunity to get to know him a little better the last few days. We were in uh, Nashville for activities um, in Nashville. And where's Dan McCormick? There he is in the back. Dan is, is my counterpart in, in West Tennessee, Middle Tennessee. We worked together really well to, to put this whole uh, visit by President Tanaka to Tennessee. So it's been a great time for Rotary in the state of Tennessee. And Dan, we appreciate your efforts in Middle Tennessee. Um, one of the things I would share with you about Tanaka, he's a very gracious man. Uh, we had breakfast with him in Nashville a couple mornings ago. And he was teaching Pat Japanese. He was writing down, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So, Pat, can we call on you for some Japanese? <laughs> so, one of the neat things I think you'd be interested in knowing about uh, President Tanaka, he has three children. Two of them live in Japan. One lives in Malaysia. He has seven grandchildren. And what's really neat, I think, he and his wife, Kyoko, will be celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary on March 27th. So, at, at this time, please stand and give the President of Rotary International, Sakuji Tanaka, a warm East Tennessee welcome. Thank you for a very kind introduction. Past I represent Jim Reishi, Oak Ridge Mayor Tom Behan, people interested in creating world peace and Rotary leaders. Good morning. Good morning. It is wonderful to be here in Oak Ridge for this peace forum. When I began to think of my theme as Rotary president, I knew it would be related to peace. In August of 1945, when I was six years old, I stood with my family around the radio and listened to the Japanese emperor announce the surrender. The moment was uh, defining one for all of Japan. Until that day, the country had been working together to win the war. Now we would work together to rebuild and to learn to live in peace. After the war, our goal as a nation became peace and prosperity. Soon, Instead of guns and airplanes, we had schools and hospitals. When I was a child, we were often hungry, and there was no money for education. Today, Japan is one of the best educated countries in the world. We are part of the global community, and reach out to others with humanitarian assistance. On that day in August 1945, I knew only that the war had ended. I did not know that one week earlier, two bombs had been dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. The world would never be the same again. Those two bombs were the work of many people. But the idea that made them possible came from Albert Einstein. 
Einstein spent his early years developing nuclear technologies. He spent his later, later years seeing the terrible ways they were used. This troubled him deeply. And like Japan, he turned his efforts toward peace. In 1945, he sent a letter to a meeting of world governments asking them to consider peace. He said that you cannot prevent war when you are putting all your energy into preparing for it. He wrote, we must all do our share that we may be equal to the task of peace. Einstein did not tell the world governments, do all you can for peace. He said, we must all do our share. Why? Because peace cannot be created by one person or one government, no matter how great their effort or their resources. Peace can only come when we work together toward the same goal, when we all communicate, when we all cooperate, and when we all contribute. One person, one government will never be enough. We must all do our share. In Rotary, this is our approach. We set our goals together, and we work for them together, each one of us doing what we can. I chose the theme Peace Through Service because I believe that through Rotary Service, we can help to build peace. There are many ways of understanding the idea of peace. We can talk about peace between nations and peace within them. We can have peace in our communities, in our homes, and in our hearts. However you understand peace, I believe that Rotary Service helps us to bring it closer. When we put service above self, we see the world dif differently. Our neighbors' problems become our own. We help to solve the local challenges <coughs> that can grow into larger conflicts. We help proper to find peaceful solutions to their difficulties. When we feel at peace in our homes and in our communities, we are able to do more when our basic needs are met. We are not occupied with the daily problems of survival. There is less cause for conflict and people and nations who do not waste their energy in conflict can use it in ways that benefit everyone. When people have the ability and the desire to work together for a common goal, it changes everything. This is something I have seen very often in Rotary service. When Rotarians from many countries cooperate on a single project, it does not matter if the relation between their countries are good or are difficult. When Rotarians are serving together in an environment of Rotary Fellowship, everything else is secondary. Peace can begin with something as small and as great as friendship between people from different corners of the globe. Peace can begin with a simple 
attitude of tolerance. It can begin with an awareness of our interdependence, with a commitment to help make the world a better place. When Paul Harris began Rotary 108 years ago, it was a new idea. It was new in many ways. At the very first Rotary Club meeting, it was decided that in Rotary, every member would be called by his first name. No one is called by a title, because here we are all friends. It does not matter if we are young or old. Rotarians or Rotaractors, interactors, or youth exchange participants. The purpose of Rotary is to bring people together. It reminds us that we are all the same. The most important people in our lives are not the people who are paid the most. They are the people who care the most. In my town of Yashio, for the last nine years, I have gone out once a week to clean a street. I do this myself, with my own hands, with my own broom. At first, I did it alone. I'm sure that plenty of people saw me out there, in all kinds of weather, wearing gloves and carrying a garbage bag, and thought it was very strange. But they soon became used to the sight. Now we have up to 80 members participating. More and more members come. Because going out yourself and cleaning your street sends a strong me message about Rotary. It shows that we care. It shows that we do not think we are above the real work of keeping our community strong. This work is important and for everyone. As Einstein said, we must all do our share. This is how we have worked for peace for 180 years, and it is how we have spent the last 26 years working together to eradicate polio. Rotary is a large and a strong organization. We have 1.2 million members, and we are backed by a strong Rotary Foundation. But even with all of our resources, we could never have eradicated polio alone. When we committed to the job of eradication, we knew that raising the money and the awareness would only be part of the job. We would also have to partner with many other organizations, individuals, and governments. Today, the world is seeing the result of your commitment and the cooperation of so many. Each year, fewer children are paralyzed by polio. We are this close to the end, but this close is not close enough. I ask you all to do your share in raising awareness for polio eradication. And when the world is satisfied polio-free, every one of you will feel the pride of knowing that you are tenacity and your hard work led to that day to a world that will be forever changed for the better because of you. I thank you for being here today for your continued work towards a polio-free world and for all that you do, build peace through service. Thank you.